Hi folks, how are you all doing? Uh, how's life going with you all? I have a really great opportunity here today with General Motors. Fresh off the press, this is a new senior program manager position that just got dropped today um, with General Motors, paying upwards all the way up to $246,000 a year. I mean, this is hot. So before I even get into this position, I just want to tell you one quick thing about General Motors. Uh, General Motors is investing $35 billion, not million, $35 billion into electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles by 2025. So they've got a lot of money to spend. So from the looks of this position, the senior program manager position with uh, General Motors. It seems like they just won a contract with Department of Defense and they're looking for a senior program manager to help them out with this government contract. So let's get right into it. All right, so this is the senior program manager, uh, General Motors Defense, uh, General Motors Defense position. It is a remote position. Uh, based out of Warren, Michigan. You all know that General Motors is um, based out of Detroit, Michigan, but they've spread their wings throughout North America and Canada right now. So let's get into this position just posted today. The role, the role of the senior, the GMD senior program manager position, this person is gonna serve as a key leader across a cross-functional team, executing a multi-million dollar government vehicle pro production contract with a primary customer and support capture of follow-on contracts with additional customers. So basically that tells us they already won this contract, they want the senior program manager position uh, person to come in and execute the contract and help them to win additional work. The senior program manager will lead program execution, serve in the role of primary leadership point of contact and overall relationship management for, ex for ex uh, our executing uh, customer. Program execution responsibilities span the full life cycle of prototype, development, production, fielding, and sustainment. And you all know, you know, GM builds cars and now they're in electric, the electric vehicle, autonomous vehicle game um, with Tesla and, 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 and the rest of um, the competitors. So anyways, this person will have, if you've been a project manager before, you understand this full life cycle, everything from prototyping to sustainment. If you've done um, IT software, you understand that it goes from requirements, design, all the way up to actual building of the software, um, testing, and and eventually um, deploying the software. So similar uh, life cycle, similar um, path that they take. All right, so the senior program manager will manage the entire portfolio for this vehicle product family. The senior program manager is responsible for on-time, on-cost price delivery of the solution to the customer in accordance with all contract requirements. So you've been a project manager before, and if you're um, certified, you know exactly what they're talking about here. Um, you understand that you are responsible for on-time um, and, and on, on budget delivery of whatever is assigned to you, whether it be a project or a portfolio of projects, that's your responsibility as well as leading the team. So what you'll do, you'll execute the awarded contract, which you know we know here they've been awarded already, achieving customer requirements, exceeding expectations while maximizing GM defense profitability. Uh, establish and manage government and GM defense program imperatives, including schedule performance costs, resource risk assessments, and gap closure plans. So you'll be working um, with your team. Uh, you're also working with the customer. You are managing that relationship with the customer, making sure that their expectations are met, the goals are met, the timelines are met, and that the delivery of what this particular uh, product family is doing is done on time. It also says you'll lead and manage cross-functional program execution team uh, called the PET or PET in, co in collaboration with the chief engineer. And so in this case, in this kind of um, business, the chief engineer would really be your SME. This is a subject matter expert that you'll be working with, enabling all participants to contribute to their full potential. 
It will support the build out and launch of a new production facility and all the supporting systems, manage issues and risks, communicate clearly through standalone presentations, team meetings, and one-on-one -on -one discussions with senior leaders and cross-functional teams, develop materials for internal gate reviews and external government leadership reviews, so, you know, obviously they're going to be, you know, certain gate reviews that you're going to go through while you guys are, you know, building out prototypes, um, you know, testing out the prototypes and eventually, you know, going all the way to sustenance phase. So there will be things that you will need to, you know, do like go or no go decisions as whether to move forward to the next gate or not and working with your SME. So all these types of things that are what they're requiring here. So develop high performing team high performing teams through establishing behavior norms and clear priorities, maintain effectiveness in changing environments and with different technologies, people, responsibilities, while balancing government and GM defense priorities. The required qualifications here, technical or business undergraduate degree is required. You need to have at least 10 years of planning, program management, or equivalent experience required, i.e. a PMI certification. So you do need that PMP, that project management professional certification from PMI's Institute that is required. Uh, previous experience in government contracting or government procurement. So if you've worked with any government uh, contracting um, work and you've done that in your past with the federal government i think will be a preference here but even if you've done it with state or local the, put that on your resume history of developing and driving high performing teams uh you definitely want to put that on your resume if you've been a project manager before you definitely want to highlight how you have developed mentored uh driven and the percent the, the percentage of um you know, success that you've you've accomplished in your past endeavors. You want to put that on your resume. Um, evidence of strong framing and communication skills, and excellent ability to deal with ambiguity. So that is very important here. Uh, they want a U.S. citizen for this. Preferred qualifications. If you have an MBA or equivalent degree, you definitely want to put that on there government or defense industry experience. If you've worked with a DOD before, you definitely want to put that um, in there. If you worked with any government arm, you want to put that on your resume. Familiarity with the auto industry and GM LLC's organization, resources, and functions. That you can read up on. Um, I would actually encourage you to go to GM's um, website, uh, gm.careers.com, and, 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 and look up what their core values are and their interview process. Uh, familiarity with FAR 15 and FAR 12, this is a federal acquisition regulation. Again, this is one of those things you can also Google if you've worked on, if you've actually led projects in the federal government, you, you know, you are familiar with the FAR um, and the FAR. Um, and, and if you don't know these numbers, you probably just, you know, it, it, th this is like old documentation, old regulations that, you know, the federal government follows. Google it, Google FAR 15, Google FAR 12. Make sure you have that in your back pocket so you're ready for your interview. You know, I know FAR 15 has to do with contracting by negotiation. FAR 12 has to do with acquisition of commercial products. So anything for the FAR 15, anything from the proposal process all the way through awards and how the federal government, um, how the federal government actually goes through the proposal process and how they offer awards. You need to be familiar with that process. If you've been a project manager in the federal government, you know this already, you've actually done it and probably just don't know it's called the FAR 15. Um, acquisition of commercial products, same thing. You know, if they were to, for instance, um, acquire SAP as a software supply chain, Let, let's say they acquired SAP, they bought SAP software for supply chain uh, implementation, you, you know, you would need to be familiar with FAR 12 uh, and, and, all the all the techniques and and regulations that surround such an acquisition um, with a with a commercial vendor, okay, to pro to procure commercial products. So I think the big thing here is the expected salary. The compensation here for this role is between one sixty seven thousand and two hundred and forty seven thousand. That is good money. Um, and this is actual base compensation within the identified range will vary based on factors relevant to the position. I tell you, if you can hit every single one of those points under the core qualifications and throw in a couple of preferred qualifications in there, you really should be asking for the top end of this salary uh, range. I would definitely um, 
familiarize yourself with the vision of GM, especially their GM defense. Their, the, the vision of GM right now is a world with zero crashes, zero emissions, zero congestion, and we embrace the responsibility to lead the change that will make our world better, safer, and more equitable, equitable for all. GM is really into diversity. Um, so it's a great company to go work for right now, especially in this hot area of EVs and AVs. Um, so I would definitely hop on this one, go ahead and apply really quickly and, um, you know, good luck with this. I, I hope that this is of value to you again, go to gmcareers.com. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.